Do you want to learn how to do a correct front fall so that when you fall you don't get hurt and most importantly you can get back up again? Well if you're a beginner, if you're a woman who would like to learn self-defense, and if you would like to learn and take control of your own safety, then this video is for you because you will learn just that. Now come a little closer. If you want to learn three secrets of falling that nobody is talking about, then stick around till the end of this video. I'm Denise Shipley and welcome to my channel. Now if you're visiting this channel for the first time, I help women be more safe, aware, and confident in order to lead a more peaceful life after domestic violence. Now if this is not your situation, no worries, there's plenty that you can learn here. Now a couple of housekeeping things to start off. First, if you're just starting activities like this, you should always get the approval of your physician. And two, make sure that you do some stretching out so that your body is warmed up and ready to uh, do these things. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that button down below along with that bell so that you know when all of our new videos are posted because I know you're not going to want to miss any of those. Okay, so to start out, I'm going to demonstrate the forward fall or it can also be called a front fall. We're going to go into a few key tips that you need to focus on when doing the fall and then I'm going to tell you those three secrets. So let's get started. So how do we do a front fall? When we're starting to learn to do a front fall, we start from our knees. As we start to fall, we want to fall straight. We don't want to stick our butt out. We want to fall straight. Okay, as we fall, our arms come up. We turn our head. We want to land on this part of the arms. We don't want to reach out with our hands and uh, catch ourselves with our wrists. Okay, that's how a lot of injuries happen. You go to catch yourself and you break your wrists. So when you fall, the elbows come up, your hands are cupped, and they're apart. They're not overlapping. Okay, if you have flat palms, if you get used to doing that, it's a bad habit. If you do this on the street and you fall, it's really going to hurt your palms. You want to cup your hands as you fall and turn your head either to the left or the right. You don't want your nose plowing down into the ground. Okay, so it looks like this. And you also want to keep your feet flat. Okay, we don't want them, the toes tucked. We don't want them popping up, popping up in the air. So it looks like this. Okay, if you notice, I actually hold my body up a bit off of the ground and I'm supporting myself with my arms and my thighs and my legs. So let's discuss a few things that you need to focus on when working on your front fall. First of all, you need to turn your head to the left or the right, or the right or the left. It doesn't matter as long as you have your head turned. Your arms are going to come up and you're going to cup your hands getting ready to fall. Now if you look at a headshot view, once you have fallen, you need to have your head elevated. You don't want to hit your head into your hands. You need to hold your head up a bit. And if you have, once you're on the ground, you can just practice, just lift your fingers up a little bit and you should just be able to touch your cheek. 
that's how you can tell if you have a good distance. Don't have your face looking straight down to the ground because you can plow your nose and your face into the ground not meaning to and that's not going to feel very good. It doesn't even feel very good if you do that on the soft mat. So if you do that out on the street, that could really mess you up. Don't reach down with your arms. No straight arms, no reaching down for the ground, trying to catch yourself with your hands. Okay, that's how things get broke. Also, you want to not allow your feet to pop way up in the air. Now, they might pop up a little bit, that's all right, but we don't want them way up in the air. We want as much of your body absorbing the impact of hitting the ground, and part of that is keeping your feet flat. Okay, and the last tip before our three secrets is um, you don't want to stick your butt out as you start to fall forward. You want to have a straight upper torso. You're on your knees. You're just starting to fall from the point of your knees forward. And then you're, of course, raising your arms, cupping your hands, turning your head, and all that stuff to land squarely on the ground. And now for your three secrets. Number one, ki. What's a ki, you're asking? Well, if you noticed in my videos, when I hit the ground, I made this really weird sound. You may not have heard that before. We call that a ki, or you could call it a spirit yell. What that does is it gets the air out of your system. It's a sound that comes more from your stomach rather than your throat. It's like yelling to your friend across the street and you need to project that voice, that loudness of your voice. So it comes from more of your stomach. So what that does as you fall and you ki, you're getting that air out of your system. All of the air should be gone by the time you hit the ground and ki. What that does is it gets a like I said, rid of, gets rid of the air in your body and it allows your organs room to kind of move around. So not only does it help when you impact the ground, for example, but it also helps you uh, when you get punched, say in the stomach or you get struck in some way by somebody else trying to hurt you. All right, so there's more about ki, but that will be for later. Okay, also, number two, learning to fall helps you learn how to get up. And you're like, well, duh, isn't that the point? Well, yes, but I want you to think about that in just a little bit of a different manner. Learning to fall and learning to get back up also helps you in many other aspects of your life. So think about that and we'll be discussing that in other videos. All right, secret number three, getting back up helps build your stamina. You don't really think about that so much, but when you're practicing and you're getting thrown a lot, you're falling down a lot, it's easy, well, not easy, but it's not as hard uh, as far as stamina, at least I don't think, to be throwing somebody else. But when you're the one being thrown or getting taken down, that type of thing, and you're always having to get back up, <laughs> that really takes a lot out of you. So uh, yes, it helps to build your stamina as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or other ideas for videos, make sure and 
comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And in the meantime, check out this video, or is it over here? Anyway, here are some other videos you might want to check out. All right, thank you. Take care.